Hey everybody, today we are going to make a couple of really great recipes. The first one is going to be healthy blueberry oat muffins. And then we're gonna go on to um, healthy apple muffins. So the first thing I did for the healthy blueberry muffins is I just uh, mashed up two bananas. And if you want them sweeter, then you can mash up, mash up three. Um, the thing is, the browner your bananas, the sweeter they are going to be. So I try to get my bananas so there's lots of spots on them. And then I have organic oats. Uh, these are gluten-free oats. I absolutely love these. Um, get them at health food stores and certain grocery stores and I'll carry them too. So what I did is I poured two cups of the um, oats here. So we're gonna pour this in and stir this up. Mix that all in. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in three to four tablespoons of unsweetened applesauce. And this is really nice because instead of like using a ton of sugar, you guys, using um, applesauce and the bananas really takes the place of having to use processed sugar, right? And then along with that, I like to use um, coconut sugar as well. So we're gonna add some additional coconut sugar. And the great thing about coconut sugar is that it does provide additional uh, fiber. So again, it slows down the glycemic index of the sugar content into the body. So you're gonna mix this up. Like I said, again, if you wanna add in a bit more, then that's okay. Then, to add in a little bit more fun and to add in a bit more protein, is I love to add in um, some vegan protein powder. And I definitely prefer vegan protein powder in cooking and baking as opposed to whey protein. And again, I know everybody has their own opinion on what they wanna use for protein powder, and that's perfectly fine. I'm not a big fan of whey. Years ago, I did it. Um, now I love Garden of Life and I love the uh, Purica. This is a Chaga vanilla protein powder, and they're both organic, this is fermented, so I'm gonna use a bit of this. Put that in there. Blend this up, and then we're gonna add in some coconut oil. So the coconut oil just helps to make it Instead of using any type of butter or any other type of um, any other type of oils, um, because I don't do dairy, I really love virgin um, coconut oil. So we're going to add in uh, just a teaspoon of the organic cold pressed coconut oil. Don't need very much. And then again, just mix this up. And we're going to add in two eggs. So two organic eggs. Mix, in. Mix it rise. Now, if you're a vegan, that's okay because you can either utilize flax meal, a nice tablespoon of flax meal, or you can do um, chia seeds. And so you put the chia seeds in a little, little uh, quarter cup of water first and let them um, absorb for about, you know, five, 10 minutes, and then add that into your recipe if you don't want to use eggs. And you know, sometimes I don't, sometimes I do, just depends. Mix this all up, then I'm gonna use some real organic sea salt. Add some of that. With this recipe too, I wanna add in some lemon. And then once the muffins are in the pins, then we're gonna add some lemon zest on top. So we're gonna add in a bit of this baking powder. There we go. Mix this all together. Then we're gonna add in our blueberries. Our blueberries here. And so you can do um, wild blueberries. I, I love wild blueberries. And then this is up to your own discretion. You can go half a cup, cup of blueberries. I like to kind of blend it in first to see. And you guys, 
With recipes, again, kind of just go with what feels right. If you want to add more of something, add more. If you want to add less, go less. I just think that that's what makes it fun. I'm going to add a little bit more blueberry. There we go. Add that. Mix this up. Then next what we're going to do is just add our lemon. I'm just going to cut a little piece off here. Don't need very much. I'm going to squeeze this in just to give it some lemon flavor. They taste so good when they're done. There we go. Blend this. And as you guys can see the consistency that I have. Now, if you want to add in um, more liquid, like if you find it's a bit dry, if you've added in more oats, then just feel free to add in some oat milk, almond milk, coconut milk, anything like that. And usually what I'll do is I'll just start with a couple of tablespoons and just kind of slowly incorporate it so that you're not making it too liquidy. So this is looking gorgeous. So, all right, we're ready to put it in the muffin tins. Before I even forget, we need to add in some coconut sugar. So you can do what you like. I typically do two or three tablespoons of the coconut sugar, which you can get, you know, you can even get it at Costco. You can get organic coconut sugar at Costco, which is great. And I utilize this in a lot of different recipes. Okay, blend this up. Now we're ready to put it in the muffin tins. And since I'm a little inconsistent with the size of my muffin tins, I have some small ones and then I also have some big ones. So we're gonna have some nice big muffins, all right. Okay, so we have all the muffins in the tin, and now what we're going to do is we're just going to put some lemon zest, uh, if you prefer, on the lemons, and that's just kind of de depending on what you guys prefer to do. So you can do lots, you can do little. I tend to love a lot of lemon. And so we're going to do all of these. Then we're going to place them in the oven. Here we are guys, the finished product. Okay you guys, here are the blueberry muffins. Look how yummy and scrumptious this is. Sorry about my nails, I need to redo them. You can add on some um, almond butter or you can add on some cashew butter onto here. Now my boyfriend does eat butter, so I'll cut this up and put some butter on it for him. And uh, I am the odd one who likes to have coconut oil. So I'm going to spread some coconut oil on mine and eat it. So there you go, guys. Enjoy. Oh, my gosh. So delicious. 